In the last video, we implemented basic pagination with the ability to go back and forth between pages one at a time. In this video, let's see how to jump across pages. We begin by destructuring. Go to page and page count from the table instance. Go to page is the function using which we can, as the name indicates, go to any page. Let's begin by adding two buttons, which will take us to either the first page or the last page. So in the pagination div tag, before the previous button, I'm going to add one more button. The text is going to be lesser than sign twice. And on click, we're going to invoke the go to page function and pass in zero. And this is going to be disabled if not can previous page. Similarly, copy this button and paste one after the next button. On click is going to be go to page, page count minus one, and disabled is going to be can next page or not can next page. The text is going to be the greater than sign twice. If we now take a look at the browser, you can see that we can directly go to the last page or the first page. This is pretty handy when you have a lot of pages. What would also be handy is if we could also specify a page number as an input. So after the span tag that displays the page number, add another span tag for the input. I'm going to add the pipe character and then go to page. I'm going to leave a space. And in the next line, we're going to have our input. Type is of number. And we don't want this to be a controlled component. So default value is equal to page index plus one. And then on change, if there is a number entered, we subtract one from it. Else, page number is going to be zero. And then we call go to page, passing in the page number. I'll also set the width to 50 pixels. If we now go back to the browser, you can see that we can jump to any page that we want to. So seven. So we have the 70th row, 13, we have the 130th row, one, and we are back in page one. By default, the page number on load will be the first page. You can, however, change that using the page index property, which is passed into the use table hook. So after columns and data, you can set initial state which is an object and one of the properties here is page index and if I set it to 2 you can see that we start at page 3. Refresh and we are at page 3. Page index starts at 0 so page index of 2 implies page 3 in our table. All right. That is how you can go to different pages with React Table. In the next video, let's see how to configure the page size.